Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Inspirational Talkies. In this video, let's see about Namdeo Dassel's poem Cruelty. Before getting into the poem, please do subscribe my YouTube channel for further more videos and click the bell icon for instant notifications. You can also request the topics in comment section which you want to be discussed. First, let's see about the poet. Namdeo Lakshman Dassel is his full name. He is a Marathi poet writer and human rights activist from Maharashtra, India. Dasal was born on February 15, 1949 in a village near Pune, India. A member of the previously called Mahar class, he grew up in dire poverty. He spent his childhood days in Golpita, a red light district in Mumbai, where his father worked for a butcher. His famous works like Golpita in 1973 and Tuhi Aida Kanchi in 1981 and Kale in 1983. In his poem, Cruelty, he discusses about how Dalit people have suffered without proper food and shelter. And the central theme of this poem is he encourages his Dalit people that they will come over this situation sooner and it is their time to shine. When you learn his other poem, called Hunger, you will get to understand this poem clearly. I have uploaded Hunger poem both in English and Tamil and this poem is available in Tamil. Get through the videos of my channel, it will be really useful for you. Let's get into the poem lines and we shall move line by line. First line, I am a venerable soul in the private part of language. Dasal says that their community people is like a womb in this society like an exceptional case in the eyes of other higher class people or for the people in higher positions. Next line, the living spirit looking out of hundreds of thousands of sad pitiful eyes has shaken me. Here the explanation is being deprived of by the people from higher classes repeatedly for long long centuries, Dasal feels very sad to see his community people starving for food and their hungry eyes shook him so badly. Next line is, I am broken by the revolt exploding inside me. And being a Dalit man, he is fighting within himself to uphold his hunger and however they try to come over their obstacles, they cannot fight against this because their souls have become weak and fighting for all these years, they have become so tired too. Next line is, there is no moonlight anywhere there is no water anywhere. That is, he describes the same starving situation of his Dalit people that he says they cannot find any way to solve his unquenchable hunger, cannot find any moonlight and no water anywhere. It means that it can also be interpreted like no water in the ponds to quench their thirst. But the other meaning could be like people around them don't have any pity for his Dalit people. No love, no care for his Dalit people in their hearts. The upper class people always deprive his Dalit community people. Next line, a rabbit fox is tearing off my flesh with its feet and a terrible venom like cruelty spreads out from my monkey bone. Here, he compares hunger as a rabbit fox which tears off his flesh. It is getting more cruel with no food no money that is they have no income to quench their hunger and this hunger has become more cruel and this has not started just yesterday or day before yesterday it is being continuing from long long ages from their ancestors next line release me from my infernal identity here he has this cruel hunger to release his community from this Hellish pain, infernal means here called hell. Let me fall in love with these stars. Here, this means when we feel very sad or desperate, our friends used to divert our thoughts to make us forget our worries. In the same way, to divert his thoughts from hunger, he starts to love the nature. The nature around him makes him quite okay. He adores the stars. He adores the surrounding so, he could not think of the hunger and the poverty faced by his Dalit community people. Next, your flowering violet has begun to crawl towards horizons. An oasis is welling up 
on a cracked face. A cyclone is swirling in irreducible vulvas. Violet blossoming flower has started to engage towards horizon. Here, violet color symbolizes power, leadership, wealth, respect and spiritual goals too. And it's calming, refreshing and pacifying. Here it also come to symbolize independence, success, wisdom and psychic ability. It is meant to be that the people had started to go beyond such community walls and soon will start to reach their goals and the independence from hunger and upper class people's domination. And it is pleasant to see an oasis in such broken phases. Oasis means like garden. It is happy to see such courage after all these long struggles in his people's face. Then next line, cyclone means hunger is swirling them and twisting his people badly and cruelly with irreducible, that is, with more and unforgettable wounds and it hurts his Dalit people like hungry wolf. Volva means wolf. Next line, a cat has commenced combing the hairs of agony. As for symbolism, cats are symbolic of rebirth also associated with darkness, mystery and magic but also unpredictability. So cats which means hunger has been coming with great agony. Agony here means pain to hurt his people which is unbearable. The hunger is coming like a cat to create a more pain in his Dalit people. Next line. The night has created space for my rage. A stray dog has started dancing in the window's eye. And every night when poet goes to sleep, the silence around him creates a space for its rage, that is, hunger. Dasal says he cannot tolerate the situation, unable to see his own people suffering, and the stray dog, that is, cruel hunger, is always waiting to harm his people. And whenever Dalit people come out to achieve their goals and dreams, this hunger and poverty is dancing at their door, not looking to get out of the boundaries and achieve something. Next line, the beak of an ostrich has begun to break open junk. An Egyptian parrot is starting to save a physical reality. Here the beak means hunger is tearing his people badly and breaking their lives and their physical health. But not only physically but mentally too has Dalit people we have to come across many domination barriers being in deprived class. Whatever the upper class people say, whatever they put words on Dalit people, they have to tolerate it. Next lines. A poem is arousing a corpse from its grave. The doors of the self are being swiftly slammed shut. There's a current of blood flowing through all pronouns now. His prone cruelty about the Dalit people and their suffering will raise even corpse from graveyard. Such huge disrespect is faced by every Dalit people. That is what Dasal is conveying. And when Dalit people raise to achieve something and try to add meaning to their life, those are always shut to them with no opportunities offered to them rather than offering their own rights are being taken from them. His prone cruelty about the Dalit people and their suffering will rise even corpse from the graveyard. Such huge disrespect is faced by every Dalit people and when Dalit people rise to achieve something and try to add meaning to their life, their doors are always shut. And they are given no opportunities and the thing only offered to them is their rights are taken away from them. And being hungry, he could be able to feel the passage of blood flowing through every nook and corner of his body. It's like when we are thirsty for a long time, when we drink water, we will be able to feel that water passing and more specifically, when you intake cold drinks, you will be able to feel the same way. So in the same thing, he is describing his dry life. Next lines, my day is rising beyond the wall of grammar. God's shit falls on the bed of creation. Pain and roti are being roasted in the same tandoor's fire. The flame of the clothless dwells in mythologies and folklore. He says his days are rising beyond the grammar like his suffering are moving beyond the limit. 
All of his days were full of suppression and no success, no goals, nothing seems to be meaningful. Hunger hunts them cruelly. God has huge anger on them. That is, Dalit community may be. So that's why God don't leave Dalit people to move forward towards their life. They are always being deprived in every situation. Only reason is their caste. So he says, God's shit falls on them in hunger. Bed of creation is referring to his people. Next line, pain of hunger and roti, which they eat is roasted in same fire. Both roti and their souls are burying under the fire cruelly called hunger. His flame of clothless, that is no money, no prop of life structure, is being said and explained centuries ago in folklore, that is stories and mythologies by various authors. They have discussed about this hunger, but nothing has changed yet. The Dalit people's life is same like before. The rock of Korin is meeting live roots. Issa is standing upon lame legs. Satin has started drumming the long hollowness. This cruel thing is like rock cannot be broken so easily. And this war is still alive and haunting people of his own and looking to hunt people still with lame legs. That is, Satan here is cruel hunger has started to suffer his Dalit community people. Next, a young green leaf is beginning to swing at the door of desire. Frustration's corpse is being swung up. A psychopathic muse is giving a show to the statue of eternity. Dust begins to peel armor. He says, above all, a young green leaf is seen. Mentioning younger generations, that is, younger generations are seen as a great door of desires, achievements and they will come against all such difficulties breaking the wall of domination. Frustrated souls have woken up and started to fight for their rights. So, the dust on Dalit people has started to fall off. Next lines, the turban of darkness is coming off. You open your eyes, all these are old words. The creek is getting filled with a rising tide. Breakers are touching the shoreline. Yet a venom-like cruelty spreads out from a monkey bone. It's clear and limpid like the waters of the Narmada River. He says, yes, cruel hunger is coming again. But before it arrives, he asks his people to open their eyes and understand the politics around them. And rise like a tide which breaks the shoreline. Referring to the domination, even though hunger is continuing for all these past years, it will get cleared like Narmada river. Here, by he tries to convey that the younger generations will come over all the dominations and what they have faced for all this year, they will create a new thing which the Kalalit community have suffered so lot. They will come over all these barriers and achieve a new thing, will set a path for the Dalit community people. In the whole poem, Namgya Dasal describes how his Dalit community people have been deprived only for their caste and how they are not given any respect or even their own rights are being taken away from them by higher class peoples or the people in higher position. If you can't understand still more, you can also refer to the other poem called Hunger by Namgya Dasal. When you read to that, you will easily can understand and get the points in the poem Cruelty. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe my channel for further more videos.